verde.
Frau Degoria. Ja. These explosions simulate conventional air launch cruise missiles launched from a B-52 hundreds of miles away and guided by Global Positioning System or GPS satellite receivers. An actual Kalkum attack is just as surprising, but much more devastating. Had these been real, the blast from each 3,000 pound warhead would have easily destroyed the stands of receiving the each delivering 20 Mark 82 500 pound general purpose bombs. to the big screen for a replay of the B-2 attack. of precision engagement is grounded in the ability to apply selective force against specific targets and achieve discrete and discriminating effects. The focus power of 16 JDAM guided munitions from an unseen attacker is overwhelming. roughly the size of two football fields.
Ground attack is the most dangerous mission flown by Air Force crews. Since Vietnam, every Air Force aircraft lost an enemy action has fallen to SAMs or anti-aircraft artillery. In front of you now, a downed Allied pilot has evaded to a pickup point while the attack unfolded a short distance away. Our survivor is equipped with the PRC-112B radio, which uses GPS satellites to give his exact location. With the same radio, the downed pilot can provide his position and tactical situation to command and rescue forces by satellite data burst on secure tactical network. This unique capability leverages U.S. space superiority to speed the rescue and significantly improve our chances for success. Using the suppression capabilities of the A-10 to sanitize the area, two H-860G Cave Hawk helicopters ingress at low altitude to recover the downed aviator. U.S. Air Force HH-60s, modified for combat rescue, had the range to go virtually anywhere when air refueled by HC-130.
then be entered into the B-1's offensive and defensive systems to modify its mission while en route to the target. The ability to engage globally is vital to today's national security. And now from your right, the B-1B bomber.
Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your eyes to the big screen for a replay of the B-52 Buff Attack. 